Hello again and welcome back to my playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3. Right before I started playing, Steam applied a 30 gigabyte patch to this game. Big patch, lots of changes. I uh, skimmed through uh, the changes. I didn't read the whole thing, it was huge. But uh, <laughs> there were a lot of changes that, um, or updates or whatever fixes, that mentioned a character that we haven't met yet or a place that I haven't been to yet and there were a lot of them and I do realize that I'm still in the first act of this game and there are three acts but holy cow how big is this game that there were so many updates to you know interactions with characters I've never heard of or in places I've never been it's crazy this game must be massive and I'm okay with that because I'm really enjoying playing it Having a lot of fun with it. At the end of the last episode, we fought these uh, magma mephits. Mephits? I don't know how you pronounce it. It was not an easy fight, but it wasn't that hard either. But you could see a couple of my characters are not in great shape. But that's not going to stop me from looting. Oh, no. Let's see what this guy has on him. He's got uh, an onyx and a heart-shaped rock, which I don't know if we've seen before. Uh, upon death... A magma mephit's cardiac system floods with sulfur, cooling and hardening it into a vulcanized geode a glitter with scarlet stone. Cool. We'll pick that up. We'll send this directly back to camp. And, um... Ooh, this guy's got a malachite on him. We'll send that back to camp. We'll pick this up for an alchemical ingredient. And then we've got uh, a couple more down here. Here's one sitting here. He's got a Malachite. Take that. Wow, there were, there were a lot of these dudes. Uh, here we've got another heart-shaped rock, and this one has an agate. Well, these guys kind of have fun stuff on them. We've got an onyx. Another heart. Malachite. A heart. And then down here, another agate, and another heart. Oh, there's another one over here. Another malachite, and another heart. Heart-shaped rock. Well, you see this um, mithril vein over here that we're going to go over and and uh, on my way mine so that we could make another item at the adamantine forge Over here we've got ourselves a scroll of polymorph transform a creature into a harmless sheep really now if the sheep's hit points drop to zero the target reverts to its original form with its original hit points interesting huh so, I mean, it's kind of like, you know, another one of those spells where you take an enemy out of the fight and then you could deal with them later because you turn them into a sheep and they'd be pretty easy to kill. But if you kill them, then they just turn back into what they were before. Pretty neat, though. Pretty neat. Uh, let's see. Over here, we've got another row of books. Find nothing there. Another rows of books. We've got Scroll of Remove Curse. Uh, scroll of Blindness. Scroll of Speak with the Dead. And Grim Forge. A history. A layer of suit coats this tome's thick hide binding. Did we read this already? I'm not sure if we did or not. The binding of this book is thicker than its combined pages, which are surprisingly devoid of detail. We know little of the ones that came before, but we know they worshipped the Lady of Loss. We know they constructed the Great Fortress and named... The next few words are smeared and illegible. But from whence they came and why they departed, this is a mystery even to Ketherick Thorm himself. What we do know is that Shars Chosen has heard her call, just as Grimforge served our mistress 800 years nigh, so it would again. 
Here Thorm's dark justiciars shall rise. Here we fulfill our goddess's pact. Here we will rebuild the lost city of Grimforge. So far will our shadows spread, and so dark will they be that Saluna's light may be forever extinguished. Yeah, we may have read that before, but that's okay. That's okay. It was so good. You just want to read it twice. Uh, let's stand over here and just shoot this stuff. Shouldn't take too long to get to it. Three. Another three. Another... Oh, that one. Two more. Boom. And that leaves us with this little teeny piece of mithril ore. Will fit in my pack. Yeah, and that'll fit in their pack. Here we've got... A Sharon Registry. The Lady's Worshippers. A registry of proud followers recruited by her loyal paladin, Catherick Thorm. Pages upon pages of names fill this book. Some are only nicknames. Others consist of multiple noble titles. All of them are scratched out and annotated with no longer. Interesting. And then we've got ourselves a little elixir of fire resistance. Walk all the way around there to pick it up. There you go. Good job. Well, we have ourselves another bit of mithril ore. We can make another thing at the forge. So what do you say? We head on back down to the forge and make something else. But first, we need to make a pit stop. And um, I don't know if I remember how to get to where I want to go. But apparently... I missed something a while back. And man, I do not remember where it was. It might be back up. Well, I can't go up there now, but um, let's have the team go up here. I think it's up these stairs, I think. There was a place with some skeletons. And apparently there was a skeleton that had a mold on it that I missed, I believe. Because if we look at Carlac's inventory... Oh, I could go for a good meal. Yeah, sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Uh, we have a uh, mace mold, a scale mail mold, a splint mold, and a scimitar mold, and uh, several people said that uh, what I really want... Can't give up now. ...is a... Hello, why can I not jump? There we go. And now it's too far. Uh, was the shield mold. And so we're going to go back and see if I can't find that. Okay. Too high target. Uh, Fox can't seem to jump over there, but if we make Carlac do it... Don't burn yourself. Then Fox will probably find his way over there. I don't understand the logic behind it, but hey, it works. So she jumps over. And then the rest of the party will probably follow. Is this where the skeletons were? Don't know. Oh, looks like only two people jumped up here. Is that right? Yeah, <laughs> Fox and Gale are still in there. That's fine. They don't need to come up. Uh, let's see here. There's a skeleton here. Is this the one that I missed? No, it's not. Um... Skeleton over here. Oh, maybe it's up these stairs. No, nope, not this guy. Well, there is a good chance that I'm not going to find this. Yeah, I don't think it was up here. There are no skeletons up here. So this isn't it. I need to go... Wow. Where would I need to go? I think I need to go all the way back out here. That's a long trek. I need to work these controls again and everything, I think. Hmm. Hmm, I say. That's what I say about that. Don't think it was any of these guys out here. Nope. Nope. I mean, I don't... 
Well, let's look at my whole team's inventory. We'll just look for mode. Scimitar, splint, scale mail, mace, and longsword. Yep, sure enough, I do not have a shield one. So... That's interesting. These two, ca these two guys can't make the jump. And these things have stayed interesting. Oh, well. Like I said, I, I think we're safe to go back. Um, you know, we've already fought enemies and such. So... Don't need to worry too much about facing enemies, but man, I don't, I don't know how to go back to tell you the truth. I mean, I, oh, that's funny. Gail made it up here now. <laughs> Fox is like, nah, I'm good. Well, Carlac is amazing. She can jump really high. But now. Man, maybe the skeletons were over here, maybe. I don't know. I'm trying to backtrack and find this. But now, I've got myself in a situation where I can't work these controls. Direct me. Gale. Yeah, he can't make this jump. But I, I need to use this uh, mage hand thing. Wait. Can I reach it from here? Let's see. Let's say this is more difficult than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> um... Yeah, okay. Can you cast Mage Hand here? Sure can. Okay, so Mage Hand is here. Let's switch to Mage Hand. And I think I want to move this control, this platform over here and then move it up, I think? Um... Okay, gonna go over there. I bet Karnak's gonna do all the work herself. Okay. Oh no, Shadow Heart's there too. Okay. Okay, now we're here. Soldier. Jump over here. Moving it. Wow, how did I get over there? Yoink. <laughs> nope, nothing there. Can I make this jump? To get back over there. Let's see. She can jump far. Where were these skeletons? Thinking they were way back here in this room. Were they up here? Not seeing any skeletons in here, though. No. Nope. Well, shoot, man. Um. Yeah, this one's already been looted. This one's been looted. Hell, this one might not be. There we go. Nice. Shield mold. As hefty as the mold seems, the shield it outlines promises to be all the more stalwart. Nice. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. I got it. Great. Well, now I just need to find our way back. If we can. The real funny thing is that... I could just do this and then hand it to Fox from here. Some kind of magic. But, um, let's see here. I could just jump from here to here. Uh. 
Boing. Okay, have you go over here. Let the girls do all the work. The guys aren't very nimble. They can't make these jumps. It's not nimbleness, it's strength, really. I mean, Karlak is just so freaking strong and... I mean, is, is, is Shadowheart strong? I mean, how is it that she's able to make these jumps, too? It's pretty cool, though, that we're able to go back like that. Oh, man, we're going to need Mage Hand again. Crap. Um, Gale? We can't cast Mage Hand until we all do a short rest. Well, you know what? Short rest isn't the worst thing to do in the world. If I do a short rest... <laughs> Look at him standing here. If I do a short rest, I'm assuming my whole team will short rest, even though we're all split up. Let's go do a short rest. Hatched up. Okay, good. Wow, that helped a lot. Okay, so once again, I should be able to cast Mage Hand. And I want to cast it... Pia. I'll try to, anyway. Okay, I hope I cast it in the right place. Yes, I did. Okay. So we've got... Um, well, yeah, the gals are up here. Uh, we go ahead and pull this lever. Lower them down. Push this lever. Back over here. Okay. All right, switch to Karlak. Jump. There you go, good job. Come back down here. Then we'll jump back down here. <laughs> There's the hand. <laughs> cool. It's following. That's nice. Um, Shadowheart, don't don't leave me now. Whoa, whoa. Okay. So now we go back down here. Where's Fox? I thought Fox was like. Where is Fox? <laughs> Where did he go? Well, now I've got Carlac and Gale here. Oh, crap. Uh. I made her jump too far. She hurt herself. That was dumb. Huh. I wonder where Fox went. So now we're back at the forge. Jump down here. Oh, there's Fox. Okay. Alright. Whoa! That was quite a jump from Fox there. Okay, so these two are down here. Gale, I don't know what's up with you, buddy. But we know you can make this jump. And I mean, I really guess I don't have to bring my whole team back down here, but... You know, better safe than sorry. Have him jump down there. Here comes Shadow Hearts. Whatever it takes. Come on down here. No, 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 no. Don't everybody. I want you to go here. Everybody come down here. Gail, come on, man. Come on, Gail. Ready and willing. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh. No, no. <laughs> like a bunch of freaking frogs, man. What? what now? Okay, so now we need to... Um, we need to ride the forge back down to the bottom? There was a button somewhere. Well, we could go ahead and... Oh, whoops, Fox doesn't have the mold. Carlac, you do the honors, will you? Thanks. Okay, good. Okay, so we're going to insert this shield mold. There we go. Shield mold inserted. Okay. 
now. While I'm at it. We're gonna go over here. Will this take us down? Whoa. Will not. How do I get this to go back down? Because we saw before that we need um, the lava in order for this to work. Huh, how the heck do I go back down? I mean, I'm pretty sure we could use this again, right? There's the lava valve. But how do I get back down to it? Huh. If we eject this thing... That just spits the mold back out. Hmm. How the heck do I use this thing? Yeah, if we do this, it just... That is awesome. That is very well done. Um... What the heck, man? There's the lava valve, but it doesn't do any good for us to turn the lava valve now. nothing here for us. I, th I thought that the button to go... Yeah, that's the button right there. What the... <gasps> what? She actually jumped down there? What? Well, she's the hero. <laughs> I don't know how else I was supposed to do that. Oh, no, 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 don't get squished. She lost a lot of health. What in the world? All right, party, everybody get up here. Here we go, okay. Uh, Karlak, we're gonna have, have the party split up. We're gonna have you go over to the mold. I can't believe she jumped down there like that. But how else was I supposed to get down here? I'm not sure. Shield mold, insert. Nice sound effect. Okay, now we're gonna have her come over here to the lava valve. Hopefully not get lavified. Seems to be stuck. What? It's stuck. Um, I was under the impression that I could make more than one thing. I mean, why else? Uh, why else have more ore? What an stuck. I mean, I don't think that Grim is in the way. Because we turned this thing last time. No use. It's blocked. Huh. Um, well? Uh. Okay. Is that blood? That's gonna make any difference. Wanna dance? No use. It's blocked. Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna go online. And see if I could figure out what the heck is going on. I, I really thought that I would be able to do this. What? I can only use this thing once. I thought that the reason that there was a fast travel point up there was so that we could come back here later and uh, use this thing again, but I don't know. So I'm gonna go look because I'm here. So I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, <laughs> you can all stop shouting at your screen now. <laughs> uh, no time to rest. I didn't put the mithril in here and that's probably also why the um, platform didn't go down. That's probably it. 
Mithril ore. Oops. Yeah, I believe this is it. Insert. There we go. Okay, Fox, get over here so you don't get lavafied. Carlac. Do the honors. There we go. Okay. Silly me. Okay. Fox. All's well that ends. Pull the lever. As bad as it nice. And now we wait for the lava to drain away. <laughs> Carlac really paid a price. <laughs> I mean, she, it was like 35 points of damage that she took when she fell down there. So there's an adamantine shield over here. What a charmer. And I don't really know who's going to use this. For me? Yeah, for you. I mean, you don't really use a shield. Um, but I have to think that this thing's super duper heavy. So this thing she just picked up, the shield, it's, um, it's rare. It gives you a plus two to your armor class. Uh, adamantine shield when a melee attack misses you the attacker is sent reeling for two turns shield bash when a foe hits you with a melee attack you can use your reaction to knock it prone unless they succeed a dexterity saving throw attackers can't land critical hits on the wearer the dull shine of the adamantine promises this shield could take a thousand beatings and still look as good as new so, I mean, can she can she even use a shield? Well, right now she's using this uh, Phalar Aluv, which is a long sword, but it's finesse. So, oh, nice! She can use a shield, and that this whole time I haven't been having her use a shield. I've been missing out. Oh, that is a nice shield to have. And this uh, adamantine scimitar is not too shabby, but I really like the Phalar, Phalar Eluv. I like the shriek that it does. I like it a lot. Uh, uh, let's do this, man. Okay. That is pretty cool. All right. Well, um, it was messy and ugly uh, getting here, but we did it. We did it. Now what do we do? Well... Let me look at the map here. Going all the way around here. I don't think that there's any more of that ore. Um, I kind of got that impression from peeps. Um, so I think, I mean, there's a couple of things here. I, I'm, this Harper stash, can we get to it? Let's fast travel over here. And see if we can't make our... Oh, doggone it. I hate it when I do that. My team was separated, and so it was just Carlac who went over here. All right. There we go. Go back to my map. Bring the rest of the team over there. Okay. Carlac, you're standing on top of the marker. I can't get to it. Okay. All right. Whole team's here. So we're going to try to get to this stash, which is over here. Not sure how to get there. Do I go up here and go this way? Actually, maybe... Maybe we have seen this. Is it down? Yeah, that's right. That's where this, um, this sigil was that worried me last time. And I ended up not going down here because I was getting ready to go to a big hard battle. But right now, everybody's okay, except for Carlac. She's almost dead. <laughs> so, I don't know. We'll see what happens when we come down here. I should probably have her take some potions. Well, well, well. I suppose. I mean, 
we could this could spawn some enemies maybe some skeletons will come up maybe some ghosts maybe who knows what I hate to use potions in a situation like this meaning I would rather just have her heal up with a long rest um, and save my potions for during a battle I mean I could do a, another short rest Wow, that really healed her up a lot. Okay, that's fine. Short rest doesn't cost anything. Okay, let's um, let's go down here and see what happens. It's probably not going to be good. Probably not going to like what happens here. Looks like the place the Dark Justicia's letter mentioned. But where's the stash? Is this a um? There's like a... Is there a wire right here? Do you see that? Or is that... I don't know if it is or not. Looks like it. I don't know what that is. Some kind of graphical anomaly. Time to press ahead. Nope, nobody's standing on this thing. Doesn't seem to be... Oh, can't reach it. What do you mean I can't reach it? Just It's right there. Oh, oh, perception failed. Crap. Anybody else have some perception they want to perceive? Perception failed. Great. This thing must be trapped. Perception failed. Come out, little mimic. <laughs> she said, come out, come out, little mimic? That's what she said. <laughs> no one back home will ever believe this. All right, Fox. Um, what? Don't be shy. Huh. Well, I thought it was trapped, but she said, come out, come out, little mimic. That's what she said. So I guess you can't disarm a mimic, right? I mean, we could attack it. It's got 50 health. I mean, do I want to attack it? No one stopped me yet. One day I'll catch a break. I'm not sure. Oh. That might be worth a look. What might be worth a look? Oh, over here. Maybe this is the stash in this toy chest. Here, we've got a chest. And um, nobody said anything about this one being a mimic. Oh. Oh. Cool. <laughs> How tall is this thing? That is great. Oh, they all came out. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. You are surprised. Yeah, I guess I am. But it's still my turn. Darn it. Fox doesn't get his turn. Shoot. I wanted Fox to use his thunder to just shoot him off the edge here. 58 health hit points, 58 and 58. Let's learn a little bit about mimics here. Mimics, the resistant to acid. Strange. They're just resistant. They're immune to acid. Huh. Interesting. Well, I guess we're fighting these things now. I mean, I guess I could do good old fire bolts or kind of would like to do something since I'm up close, but I like using these cantrips right here, uh, you know, so they don't use any spell slots, but I don't know, man. I'm worried about all th three of these dudes with 58 health. Holy cow. Man, I really wish Fox would have gotten a turn, but he's surprised, so he doesn't get his turn. Well, I guess let's just pick one and see what we could do to it. 60% chance here. If I use this, 80% chance. Let's do it. Missed. Great. That's great. I could try to shove it. Too heavy to shove. I figured as much. Ugh. Um, 
And if I try to run away, it doesn't look like he has any kind of opportunity attack. So, could I have Gale, like, get up here? Does that count as an opportunity or an advantage against these guys? Let's have him get up here. Put him up. Carlac. Could I have her do her rage? Nice. <laughs> These things are awesome. <laughs> All right, let's um, let's get to work here. Say bye bye. Fourteen. Thirteen. Crap. Okay, now it's one of their turns. His turn. He's going to take a bite and miss, and he's reeling. Now he's reeling. I think because he just did a melee attack on Carlac. And if we remember, check her out. If we remember, uh, when a melee attack misses you, the attacker is sent reeling for two turns. Wow, that seems incredibly powerful and useful. Because he's reeling. And if he's reeling, that means that, let's see, recovering from, a re re recovering from receiving a terrible blow... Or hitting a strong metal has a minus one penalty to attack rolls for every turn remaining. Okay. They still get to attack, but there's some minuses there. Okay, so Shadowheart gets to fight now. And, I mean, I guess we may as well keep picking on this guy and see if we can't, um, you know, eliminate him. She has some of the same cantrips as the rest of the team. Or as, as Gale. I don't know why I said it like that. Eugenies. Nine points of damage. And we could do Shield of Faith on somebody. Um, heck, maybe I should do it on Gale, because this guy's going to get to take his turn probably next. Well, after this guy. So let's put Shield of Faith on Gale up here. All right. What are you going to do about it? He's going to hobble over here. He's going to take a bite, and it hurt. S weapon stolen? What? Took a bite, but missed. Uh, Fox is still surprised, and everybody feels threatened, and now there's reactions. I don't know why there wasn't before. Um, what the what, I say? Oh, Fox is no longer surprised, he's just threatened. Okay. Um, if I tried to do this, it looks like I will cast him down over the hill there. So, let's do it. Oh, okay, nice camera work. There he goes! Okay, well, he's dead. The only bad thing about that is that we won't get his loot, if he even had any. But that's kind of nice. Of course, the bad thing is, is that that's the one I decided to pick on. I should have picked on a different one, with the hope that I would knock him off. But, oh well, what are you going to do about it? So, we got this guy right here. We could do... A uh, piercing shot on him, or no, a flourish or an offhand attack. That's two to seven. I mean, might as, might as well. Four points of damage. Look out. I speak, they burn. Okay, so we got this guy here, and we got this guy here. Um, I was hoping that by being up here, we'd get a little advantage. And we do, we have the high ground. So let's go ahead and take a shot. 15 points of damage. That's pretty good, really. And then we'll go ahead and end his turn. Up. And here comes Carlac. Carlac, go take a hit. I should never get on this side. I, mean, I, may, I might even be able to get Fox over here to knock him off next time. So does that mean I should go up and pick on this guy? Yeah, let's go pick on this guy. Let's go do that. Cry about it. <laughs> 13 points of damage. 11 points. Still has 34, though. And, I mean, heck, we could even do a pommel strike. Wow. And we dazed him. Holy cow. Uh, that was considerable amount of damage, really. He's dazed, so 
has disadvantage on wisdom saving throws, can't take reactions, and loses the dexterity bonus to their armor class. Wow, that's quite a bit. Okay, so that's Karlak's turn. Um, why don't you run up here too? We'll all pick on this guy. We'll see if a fox can't fling him off the edge next time. Moving. Maybe I shouldn't have got her right in this face, but uh, still 75. Well, let's see. For, yeah, 42, because we're right in this face. Guidance. Light. Sacred Flame. 60% chance. Yeah, let's do that. Eight points of damage. And um, everybody's feeling pretty good, I think. Well, now it's their turn. What's he going to do? He's going to take a bite and miss. Nice. He's going to take a bite. Let's do a shield blow, man. Okay. Roar. Okay. All right. We're going to have Fox walk right here. And then we're going to see if we can't uh, knock him over the hill with uh, thunder. See you later. Bye. <laughs> Yes, that's the best. <laughs> it's so much fun. That is great. Okay, and then um, we'll just have Fox start coming the back up this way. Me. Nice. Okay. No gloom, all doom. So somebody lost their weapon. Um, and I think it was Shadow Hearts. We'll check on her in a bit. 72%, whatever. Okay, good. Carlac, take your swings. 10. Oh, this should finish him off. Okay, he did. So, Shadowheart. Well, I mean, she still has her Xynite. I don't remember whether she was carrying more than one weapon or not. I believe she had a ranged weapon. I think she did. So, does that mean that maybe the Mimic took the weapon? And now the weapon's just gone? <laughs> I think that w that's what that means. I think it's just that's gone now. Because I flung him over the edge. Whereas, had I, you know, just killed him, I probably could have gotten the weapon back. But it's gone now. I don't remember what it was. And I could be remembering wrong completely traps please um what she was carrying you know but oh well here is a toy chest this is going to be the stash can examine this thing well wow. a tiny chest that's huge tiny chest perfect for tiny hands. I mean, look at the size of this thing. This is this is like the biggest thing I've ever seen in the game. <laughs> it's massive. <laughs> okay, let's uh let's loot it. Whoa. Nasty surprise. Caution is warranted here. Oh. Well, I guess this thing's trapped. What? Okay. A nasty surprise. I mean, Gale, Gale's the only one who succeeded. A nasty surprise. Caution is warranted here. Um. At the ready. Oh. Wait a minute. What? Huh? Oh, it's over here now. What? I guess when we touched this, it caused this to pop up out of the ground? Everything. <laughs> Beats me. Despite everything. This is the Harper stash. Common chest of timber and iron. Alright, let's disarm this thing. We need to roll a 20. We're going to add our guidance bonus here. It's quite a few bonuses. We get plus 5 up to, well, 6 to 9. And that's not going to do it. Oh, yes it is. I rolled a 13. Oh, that's right. I don't know what I was thinking. 
So we disarmed it, and now we need to pick the lock. In trouble now. Need to roll another twenty. That ought to do it. All right, let's see what's in it. Inside we get a scroll of hypnotic pattern and a scroll of evidence, a snug tube designed to protect its contents from wind, weather, and time. The first few inches of this scroll are written in formal, elaborate script. To the Emerald Enclave and those deemed worthy to see this record, greetings from those who harp. Know ye that the one known as Kethrick Thorm, Paladin of Shar, is guilty of crimes against body and spirit. They include, but are not limited to, murder, slavery, and desecration of temples most holy. Let our intent be known, an alliance between the Harpers and the Emerald Enclave. United, we may end Thorm's reign of terror. The High Harpers eagerly await your good word. Uh, is Shadowheart going to have anything to say about this? Nope. So we've got evidence of something. I was hoping you'd come to chat. What do you need? Um, nothing. You know, just wondering what you thought about that scroll I just picked up. You know, I mean, kind of weird, right? What happens if I touch this again? Nothing. Nothing happens. Let's go loot this thing. What's hiding here? Oh, we're going to get ourselves some wondrous gloves. Uh, they have Troubadour's Wonder. Your armor class increases by one. In addition, if you have Bardic Inspiration, you gain one more use of it. Hmm. Interesting. A series of motivational quotes have been enthusiastically removed from the embroidery of these gloves as if in protest. Strange. And then a ruby ring. We'll send that back to camp, but I am intrigued by these gloves. I mean, we are a bard. Now, bardic inspiration isn't something that I use very often, but I probably should be using it. In fact, why? I mean, maybe I should. This is one of those things that I should be casting from the start, right? I mean, it's good until long rest, so it's like I could just give somebody on my team bardic inspiration and they could just have it until we rest, right? If I'm reading that correctly. So if I put these gloves on, I could do it twice, but does that mean if I put the gloves on, I could do it twice, and then what happens if I take the gloves off? Do I lose the Bardic Inspiration? I don't know. But we're going to go ahead and put these on. I mean, it's cool. Our armor class increases by one, and we get one more use of Bardic Inspiration. So... Bardic Inspiration. I could cast it on my... Oh, I can't target myself. Okay, fine. Uh, Shadowheart, you get one Bardic Inspiration. Okay. She got... That's weird. It says I lost Condition C Invisibility and then I got it back again. That was weird. And then I could use Bardic Inspiration again. And I'll just give it to Karlak. She now has Bardic Inspiration. So I've got it on two people, and I mean, it looks like I could cast it again, but I'm going to guess that that would negate Shadow Hearts and give it to Carla or give it to Gale instead. But let's see what happens. Well, they've all got Bardic Inspiration. I get to use this thing three times. Well, maybe I had two uses of this, and I never even realized it. So now I can use it three times. Now what happens if I take off the gloves? Okay, took off the gloves. Put the other ones back on. Okay. Well, I guess that's just going to be one of those things that I do from now on when I start my day. I put the gloves on. I give the rest of my party bardic inspiration. And then I take the gloves off. <laughs> right? I mean, why wouldn't I? I don't know why I haven't been given everybody Bardic Inspiration to begin with. I mean, it doesn't look like I need to concentrate for that. It doesn't use up any slots, spell slots. So, yeah, I should be doing that. <laughs> okay, then. 
Uh, there's a rib cage over here. Let's go see if there's anything in it. Oh, I'm just going to pick it up, aren't I? I picked up a rib cage. Great. That's what I wanted. Well, um, a little disappointed that we lost. Um, Shadowheart's weapon. I mean, is it possible that it's way down there in a place I can get to? I mean, this is what? I mean, where? Where is this? Yeah, I can't click to any of these places. Is this just a place for looks? Or is this a place that we can visit? trying to get my bearings here and figure out if this is a place we've been yeah I can't move around enough to see this is all considered chasm look at this I can't walk over here yeah I guess this is this is all just for looks maybe that's an awful lot over there for looks Well, interesting. Let's be on my way. I guess, um, I'm not sure where we're looking. Are we looking over here? Let me walk back over here. Okay, so Fox. I could walk right here. Okay, so Fox is looking kind of southwest. If we look at the map, and we look south, so it's down here. Maybe down in here is where. So yeah, I don't know if this is a place we could visit or not. That that might all be just just for looks. Pretty cool, but I was kind of hoping that there might be a chance that we could get down there. But yeah, that looks like it's fallen down into a chasm for good. I mean, way, way down there, right? Yeah, can't quite see down there. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, um, I'm going to end this episode here. When we come back next time, I mean, there's this... Um, there's this here, this smoke powder reserve that I haven't been able to find. It points up and it makes me wonder if I need to take this elevator. I think this is the elevator. I think if I take the elevator up, will I then be able to get to the smoke powder reserve? I'm not sure. But there's still more stuff for us to do, I feel like. Uh, finish the masterwork weapon, yeah. Um. And then I don't know about this crash and mountain pass business. I don't know if I have to do that before I go here or not. Oh, oh. Uh, but there is still another place that we need to go. And that is where uh, we fought well, near. And there is a, uh, a passageway with like poison gas or noxious fumes or something. That's a place we haven't been yet. And I believe that's um, through here. Let me see. I'm pretty sure I'm in the right place. Yeah, through here. We haven't gone through here yet. And if we look at the map, my team gets here. Yeah, is this this is Nier's body right here. So if we look at the map, we're looking in this. Ooh, we're looking in this direction. Wow. Well, who knows how far this goes? I don't know. Next episode, I'll go in there, find out. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this episode. I hope you, enjoy you enjoyed it. If you did, why don't you let me know? Leave me a like or a comment. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.